Hello, friends and family. My name is George Lewis Breland, and I'm the proud principal of Cleveland STEM High School. First of all, I want to acknowledge how challenging this time has been for our families and our students and our entire community. We want you to know that we're here for you and we're doing everything to help you navigate this difficult period. On March 23rd, OSPI, the state agency, provided revised guidance for all districts. They've asked district school leaders, educators, support staff to ensure all students get a continuous learning of school experience during the school closure period. In response to last Friday, the district provided teachers with guidance on minimum expectations. I'm going to walk you through some important points of that guidance and what share what families should expect from each school. Also remember that each school community is different and diverse in its approach and it may vary slightly. This is the continuum of learning document for 9 through 12. You can find the high school guidance document on the district COVID-19 webpage, which can also be accessed from your child's school website. This document outlines expectations for the number of lessons and activities provided each week, which will show up on Schoolology. For students receiving ELL services or have an IEP or a 504 plan, as a parent, you should expect the appropriate modifications and accommodations to help your students with their individual learning needs. If your child is in grades nine through 11, you should expect to hear from your students' teachers twice a week. Some learning activities will be short assignments and or projects, while others will be multi-week assignments and or projects. Teachers are here to assist with your students learning while keeping them engaged with a variety of lessons through different mediums. These lessons and or activities may be provided online, some through paper-based packets, mailed to your home or emailed to you. Communication is really important at this time. Family engagement has never been more important. Educators have been asked to coordinate and communicate so you aren't overwhelmed. At Cleveland, these communications are very important because we check on our family's health and well-being, our students' physical and mental health. We also give families clear guidance and expectations for distant learning and student outcomes. We also do this to engage our community by listening to community questions and concerns and providing them timely feedback. At Cleveland, this is what I've asked my staff to do in my building, to formulate a senior intervention team to support seniors with graduation requirements, online learning opportunities, credit recovery options and opportunities, AP testing information, state testing requirement information, most of all, to provide social and emotional needs of our students. At Cleveland, we have put together a weekly schedule for all students to meet the needs with their instructors multiple times per week via email, phone, or by microphone teams. This task is a heavy lift, but we found that everyone working together with clear expectations, consistent communication, common goals and standards for all students with equity at the forefront, we can better serve our students and families. In closing, I've been an educator for 26 years, 20 years in the district. Nothing has fully prepared me for this global crisis. But please know that the Seattle Public Schools community and family is here to support you. We'll get through this together. It's gonna to be rocky. But in the meantime, please take care of yourself and your family. For more information, please visit the District COVID-19 website. It includes a continuity of learning documents provided to educators as well as a robust FAQ. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Stay home and stay healthy.